Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Percy, and so we continue on with our Cinderella tutorial. I just told you who I was drawing. I meant to say we go on with our princess tutorials, but I just totally told you who I was drawing today. Well, now that you know Cinderella, everybody, we're gonna draw Cinderella. I already said that. But anyways, uh, I've been getting a lot of comments and everything on my Instagram or my YouTube and stuff like that asking for me to draw anime and stuff. And I was just that, I kept that in my memory slots, in my bank, in my memory bank, in my brain bank, whatever. And as I was thinking about it, I was going through Tumblr and I saw these particular images of these uh, princesses, Disney princesses. But they were in anime form and everything, and I love them. And I thought, here we go. We're gonna knock out uh, one bird with two stones. I don't, I don't know how to say that saying. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw Cinderella in this really cool, unique, fun, easy way in anime. Alrighty then. First thing we want to do is go ahead and lay out the head. So. This is another kind of a profile kind of looking image, but we are seeing like slightly the other side. So we're gonna go ahead and make it this curvy slanted lines, kind of curving inward as you can see. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up this way from right here. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make this huge and like connect it together over here. So it looks like a ginormous uh, guitar pick almost. Okay. So, after the ginormous toothpick, whatever, toothpick, guitar pick, okay? After that, what you're gonna do is, let's go ahead and start laying some things out. So, I wanna do her face first, because her face and her nose seem to kinda be the main thing. And she's got this teeny tiny nose, which I think is so adorable. And literally, what you're gonna do is, let's go ahead, and this is gonna stay the same. This one good solid line. What you're gonna do is, from right here, Let's go, I'm, I'm gonna do some eye lines before we go into this. We're gonna make an eye line here, and we're gonna go ahead and make another eye line right here, okay? So we know that the face is turned all the way to the side, and you can barely see the shadow of this face over here, of this part of her face over here, okay? So since we only have a little bit of a shadow of the side, you're gonna go ahead and you're just gonna draw this itty bitty little like ghost line of an eyebrow right here. And then right underneath it, you're gonna draw like a little ghost line of just a baby little spot for where her, her eye is gonna go, okay? From this eye line that you made below this ghost line of her eyebrow, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down over here, just come right out, right out here. Start to go out just a little bit, not too much. And then you're just gonna come under and you're just gonna give that itty bitty little ghost line, that itty bitty little nose, okay? After the little nose, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go come from right here, this is the side of her face, and you're just gonna come down and bring this down right here, okay? Let's, if you see what I just did there, we just, we're barely, it's an itty bitty line, guys, okay? So it's just coming down right here, and since we're anime, some lines do not connect, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this part of her face from her nose, okay? So it's just kind of like, it's disconnected, it's, it's, it's interesting, whatever, it's anime. Let's go ahead and make her other eye that we do see. So, she's got ginormous eyes, so what you're gonna do, it's gonna be, our eye is gonna be somewhere in here. So let's go ahead and say her eye is gonna be right here. Oh, obviously that's not her eye. But still, we're gonna make it in this area, okay? What you're gonna do is, from right here, you're gonna go ahead and make a line coming down right here, okay? Big, nice line, all right? And then from right here, you're gonna come down, straight down from that corner, and you're gonna leave it right there. And then you're gonna come down from where we made our little circle, and you're gonna go right here, all the way to the end of the line. And then what you're gonna do is gonna curve upward and you're gonna go up and you're gonna curve right here. Okay, after you curve right there, what you're gonna do is, let's go ahead, you need to separate some lines, okay? Obviously, this isn't gonna be there. This is just our shadow of our eye. This is going to be here just barely. It's gonna come right around, her eyelash is gonna come right around and start right there. And it's gonna come back here, okay? All right, after that, what you're gonna do is, we need to go ahead and give her some pupils and some shine in her eyes, and like most anime, they've got fun eyes to deal with. 
So over here, like I said, with anime, everything just kind of blends in together. It's a good guideline to keep four anime characters that their eyes do blend in together and then like the Disney princesses their eyes do blend in together but they've got good solid lines so what you see there I went ahead and I made this nice and dark up here I brought this down made it nice and dark and it's just gonna blend in to that shine okay just like that all right after that let's go ahead and figure out where her eyelashes are going all right Let's go ahead at the bottom of her eyelash and just kind of curve this upward just a little bit more. And then I'm going to make a little line right up here. And then I'm going to cut this down just a little bit, as you see what I did right there. Okay? I cut that down just a bit. All right? And then I'm going to cut this off just a bit. But I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, defined and pointy. Like, yeah, pointy. When I mean pointy, I mean we're going to make this nice and pointed right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up and give it a more of a thick eyelash up here. All right. And then from there, you're going to come on top of her eyelash. And you're just going to give a little itty bitty lines, the eyelid line. In this particular picture, it looks like she's wearing purple eyeshadow. Super pretty. Okay. So from right there, what you're going to do is you're going to go in the thick of her eyelashes. And you're going to go ahead and little spiky eyelashes and I mean you can give as many as you'd like it's Cinderella and she's adorable in this picture so give her some eyelashes make her look all pretty but okay now we've got her eyes figured out and everything um actually let's come back to right here and let's kind of like define this up a little bit more what you're gonna do is you're gonna come from the top of your nose right here you're gonna come up and you're just gonna curve that off right there and make this a little bit more darker, okay? And you're just gonna curve upward right here and then her bangs will overlap her head in a bit. But you see, it's still there, her eye. Obviously, we see it. We're gonna cut that down. I think, actually, we need to cut this up a little bit. So it's just like, obviously it's there, but you can't see it because she's got her face turned, okay. So anyways, after that, what you're going to do is come down, whoa, dot, okay. What you're going to do is, since, all right, it's weird because her lips you can fully see on this side, but her lips are pretty easy. What you're going to do is you're going to come right here, and you're going to go ahead and just make a little line and curve it upward right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come right underneath that, just make a little line right there lips yay okay now after that let's go ahead and finish off the rest of her head i want to go ahead and at least do her chin so what you're going to do from right here okay she does have a very pointy chin so from right here you're going to go ahead and you're going to come up and curve upward right there but you're going to keep this bottom line and just shade it a little bit okay give the indention underneath her chin and then of course this comes down starts to come down into a neck We'll get that to that in a second. Well, this is the middle of her head that we've already uh, we've already decided because this is like going up. So we're gonna go ahead and give her her part right here. So we've got one little lump right here for now. So let's go ahead and just bring that backward just a bit, okay? And then what I want to do is I'm gonna come right here. And I'm gonna make another little lump right here, okay? We'll get that to back to that in a second. After this big ginormous lump right here, you're gonna come right here and you're gonna make another little lump right there and then stop and then you're gonna make another little lump and then stop and then of course we're gonna come down right here you're gonna come inside right here for now right inside this lump where I just made it okay and you're gonna come down and you're gonna start going backward in this area okay and then after that what you're gonna do is just to keep continuing and puzzle and put the puzzle pieces together go ahead and you're gonna make a circle right here Okay, after a circle, what you're gonna do is I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna start coming up this way. Nice straight line. I'm gonna start curving. My ultimate goal is to curve towards this lump right here. Okay, we're making our headband, so we gotta go along with her curvy linear head. Okay, as I start curving more and more towards that lump. All right, and then I'm just gonna stop and I'm making this little like uh, arrow shape right here just to show the indention that I'm stopping there for right now. Okay, 
but I want to go ahead and I want to draw the rest of her her headband. Now, what you're going to do is, um, you're going to come on the other side of the circle. Okay, so it's going to go straight up like that, and then you're going to stop. All right, because her big bun curls are going to be covering her headband on top. All right, so let's go ahead and start piecing a couple more things together. From the circle, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and we're going to just draw a straight line down for right now. Okay, can you see that? All right, so we're going to just draw a straight line down from right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come like right in this area. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit more inward right here. All right, so we drew that straight line. I just brought it in closer a little bit more. So I'm going to come from right here, so not to that too far from our circle. I'm going to come from right here. I'm going to start curving upward. All right, making this nice and rounded. And then from right here, there's a lot of missing pieces, just like a lot of things don't connect with anime in this in the part of her head. Her hair doesn't really connect as well, but it's kind of cool to look at. So this kind of disappears. This line over here kind of disappears due to light fixtures and stuff like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to come from right here, and you're going to curve upward over that headband piece right there. And then we have another little piece, another little lump of hair, and then we've got this overall big lump right here but then we're gonna come right inside here and we're gonna go ahead connect it as it's overlapping okay all right after that uh, like I said a lot of this does not connect we've got a little faint line right here it's really cool it's a really nice use of colors and everything but a lot of her hair does not connect in this picture fun story um, don't mind the other half side of the sheet that I just taped on there. Seems that fun little me rubbed my eye and then put my hand back on the piece of paper and guess what? There's eyeliner all over it. So don't mind that. We're just going to continue drawing from downward. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> I just can't believe that happened. All right. Anyways, so let's go ahead and keep going. So we've got her neck and everything let's go ahead and figure out where we're gonna put her choker but first before that I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out her chest a bit so we're coming from her neck right here now I'm just gonna continue downward onto my horrible line see I start drawing like the shoulders and everything and then I just idiot me touched my face I should know better okay so anyway so I'm gonna come down from right here and then I'm gonna start going outward okay all right, I'm going to stop right there, and then I'm going to start piecing things together to make sure everything is nice and proportional and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off to the side right here, obviously, where I started to draw my shoulders over here. And then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to lay out this top of her shoulder right here, and I'm going to come over here, I'm going to lay out this top of her shoulder right there for right now. And then I just want to make sure, I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to piece it together and make sure I don't get this wrong. So. We've got her chest right here, so it's going to start coming, it's outward, and then we're going to go ahead, and once again, not connecting. I'll make it more, a little bit more outward. Okay. Since this is the whole, like, all right. And after that, curve inward, start curving inward right here, but then i got to make sure that it's nice and proportional, because... Let me tell you, Cinderella's bodice, I've had trouble with it so many times before. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead. I'm going to curve this inward right here. And then I'm going to come over here and start making my line right here. Just trying to place everything out, sketch it out by looking at my image. And then, of course, all right, we've got a curve here. And this curves downward like a ski slope. And then it's going to curve inward. Curve up this way, curve up, and into her neck, okay, and then, alright, so I know that my arm is going in here and it's going to come towards the bottom, so I'll make a line here, make a line here, now I'm going to come down here, mirror this side, 
I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and come out a little bit more. Once again, these lines do not connect. There's a faint ghost line up here. Okay. So I connect these two together and then I start making her arm a little bit more. So it's coming outward. Looks like she's probably gathering her skirts. So here's her, her arm. And then from right here, you got the ghost line, a little bit of a line of her glove and it's curved upward. Okay. And then from right there, you're going to go ahead come down right in here underneath her arm it's again not a connecting line and it's gonna curve start now it's gonna curve inward and then down okay and that's when I can bring this in a little bit more all right and that's when I can go ahead and make this line right here curve upward like that and then that's when I'm gonna come down right here from this corner and it's gonna go downward and up okay and after that I'm gonna come over here Finish off this line once again, not connecting lines over there. And then that arm goes off into the distance. Come down right here. Nice shadow of her collarbone. And then I'm going to come up over here, right under here, and curve upward. Curve on top of that. Obviously, we just made her choker. And then that's when I'm going to come down from over here, underneath. I'm going to make a line here and it's going to come down. And this part of her dress is slightly showing and it's going out that way. Alright, let's spruce this up just a bit. Get rid of some of those guidelines. I've got a ton of them up on her face that I need to get rid of. So we got one little eyebrow slightly right here, okay, since it's matching this side of her eyebrow over here. And of course there's some shading we can do. We got a little bit of shading underneath her chin that we can do. A little bit to her choker. Okay. And then we've got the other side of her sleeve over here, which is nice and pretty shaded. Of course, you can use darker blues and all kinds of colors, pretty colors. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit darker, make this darker. Okay, so the thing about her chest is, once again, we're not connecting here in the image. So it's not connected there. I mean, it's just weird because this is like the whole front. And it's like, it's like her lips. You can see her whole lips, even though she's turned to the side. And you can see her whole bust area. And it's just like, what? It's very, it's a very confusing image, but it's, it's still a cute image. But um, I'm gonna curve this up a little bit. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of touch. Okay, a little touch of my own. All right, Cinderella has a very, very prominent line going down the middle of her dress. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make that line right there. And obviously, we're just gonna mirror the outside right here, and it's gonna come down and go straight down into that the dip of her bodice of her dress. We all know that that line is there. Plus it just gives it a little bit more definition and makes it look cool and more opportunities to shade. And it just it makes it just makes sense. So I can shade this up because of course she's turned to the side and we don't see I don't know like that's it's such an interesting way to portray her. But anyways, I'm going to come down here and make this a little bit more prominent. And then of course I can shade it right here. Nice and shaded. And I can shade from the bottom of her poofy sleeves. And come over here and shade this up a bit. Alright, and then I can kind of... I don't know, I don't like this whole like not connecting lines. It's quite an interesting, but it's cool. 
All right, and make that a little bit more prominent. Make this prominent. Of course, this is her other arm hidden off the side. So make this a little bit more prominent. Shade it up just a bit. Okay, and of course, you got her collarbone. Shade that up. Make this a little bit more defined. And that's floating in the distance. Okay, and then it can come up to her face, of course. We got some eyebrow shading going on over here. Pretty. Some shading on her circle of her headband. Of course, we got so we can do some really fun stuff with her hair. Shade this. Shade her headband. There we go. Alright guys, there you go. A fun little way to draw Cinderella in an anime style. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Once again, it's always nice to branch out and try different styles and stuff. Um, sorry about the half and half. <laughs> Sorry, it never happened before, but I guess it's a first for everything. So yes, as always, leave in the comments below who you'd like me to draw next. Which princess do you want me to draw next? Alright guys, have a lovely weekend. I'll see you all later. Bye.